Oh, hey, I'm Levi. I'm a creative, an explorer, and an adventure seeker at heart. Welcome to Utah! A few years ago, I set out on a mission, and that was to find the most unique, inspiring, and downright amazing one night stays in America. And now I'm taking you along for the ride. This is Tiny BNB. Today we are at the Emerald Forest Tree House. This is a mind blowing experience of an Airbnb from a suspension bridge to a tiny house tree house. There is a zipline breakfast, a zipline across the pond, and the Emerald Forest, and an Emerald Forest outdoor theater with a 16 foot screen. And I mean, there's so much on this property, it is crazy. There's also a couple surprises for the guests at this place, which is out of this world. So let's get along with this tour and check the Emerald Forest Treehouse out. Today we are staying at the Emerald Tree House, which is now one of my top favorite Airbnbs I have ever been to. Because I thought I was just going to get a tour of this tree house and it was going to be incredible. But as I find out when I got here, that's only about half or maybe not even half of the experience you get while you are here. There's also the Emerald Forest we have to explore and the Emerald Outdoor theater that we have to explore in this video. So this is going to be a jam-packed video of a lot of unique and awesome things. All of this was built by Treehouse Masters Pete Nelson. All of this is located on 30 acres of private land in Redmond, Washington. And there's the huge pond, there's beavers here, and there's trails everywhere just for you to stay here. And it is insane. There's lots of surprises here as well. The host uh, has many things up his sleeves. Anyway, along with this tour, whenever you arrive here, you are actually in the backyard of the host's property, which is pretty Airbnb typical, but you're on 30 private acres. So I don't think that matters at all, but you're greeted by the host, which is incredibly nice. And he starts off with the tour of your spot for you, because there's a lot here that needs uh, some guidance, which is really cool. You walk out into the decking space and you have all this deck that leads up to your treehouse. So we'll start here. And the first thing on the left is your outdoor hot tub space. This is the beginning of your experience at the Emerald Treehouse and it starts off really nice. You have this huge hot tub here that can uh, sit four people and that's how many people can sleep in the Emerald Treehouse actually. So it fits perfect. You just lift off this cover and you can sit back here and enjoy your time. There's even a TV out here. You can sit in the hot tub and watch some Netflix, your favorite show. That seems like such a simple idea, but I've never seen TVs with the hot tub spaces. I, I love that so much. It's so enjoyable. We'll continue along the deck space and you walk up and now is the entrance to your tree house you have to cross this gorgeous bridge this bridge right here is the one of the coolest things on this property I think when you walk across it it shakes and you can hear the wood crackle it feels like you're in a movie like the last Jedi you're an Ewok up in the trees this is a suspension bridge and it is so fun to just walk right back and forth on this bridge we're probably about 20 feet off the ground which is where I'm filming this video right now so if it's a little shaky that's because we are on this bridge and it is so cool I love it and then once you walk across it, your treehouse is now revealed and this is a beautiful piece of artwork surrounded by all the trees you can see the tree coming through the deck of this you can see this huge ladder on the right and then of course your treehouse on the left and the wood it is just all very very beautiful and the experience of all of this just keeps getting cooler and cooler and cooler so whenever you walk up onto your actual tree house uh, the first thing on your right is a lookout crow's nest so we can climb up this ladder now we are 40 feet off the ground up in your lookout tower you can overlook the pond that has 
beavers and beaver dams on it which is really cool and you can overlook the rest of your property and your tree house and you might even see this tower over here with more decking we'll get to that later in this video but once you're done up here you can climb back down and this is a wrap around deck actually that wraps around this entire tree house but We'll walk in this door on the left side and see what the inside of this luxury tree house has to offer. When you first walk in here, it is very open and airy. I think this is a luxurious tree house by far. Uh, this is a two-story tree house as well. The upstairs is a small loft area. So that just means there's more open space in here. The ceilings go up really high and all the windows everywhere look beautiful and the first thing over here on this floor is kind of your uh, bedroom space actually this is a Murphy bed it is very comfortable um, Savannah and I loved it here uh, you have nice stands on each side and if you need more space you can fold it up but if not you can just kind of keep it folded down and it's actually in a really nice spot to keep folded down you, you'll never have to fold it up if you don't want to so this is definitely a tiny house which is fun I like this, this is a tiny tree house and then over on the right side of all of this is your kitchenette space this is a small kitchenette space but it has everything you need because the hosts stock food for you and drinks which is so nice to have the Airbnb host provide all of this complimentary for you so you won't go thirsty or hungry as you stay here and that is just so kind of them and then on behind this you have the rest of your area which is now your dining space you have a small dining table right here next to these windows you can sit here overlook the pond property and the back of your tree house and you might be wondering about breakfast now the one of the best things about this airbnb is that they have a zipline breakfast complimentary for you now what do i mean by that across the bridge from their house to the tree house is a 150 foot zipline i believe and in the mornings they put a basket of breakfast for you at the end of it and at any time in the morning you can come out here and press this button and that releases the basket zipline and it ziplines all the way to you at your treehouse and you can take it off and if you look inside of it it's full of breakfast there's yogurt there's fresh berries and fruit in here and there's oatmeal there's orange juice this is just the experience above experiences that I've shown on this channel. This is one of Savannah and I's favorite thing about this day was this zipline breakfast. It was so cool. I loved it a lot. So you can sit here and enjoy your breakfast in the mornings and you don't have to worry about finding breakfast. It is mind-blowingly cool. So continuing along with the inside right here behind your dining table is your sofa area. You can sit here and recline in these sofas and you might be wondering about you know watching TV inside. Well you can say Echo turn on projector and the projector will lower from your kitchenette space with the projector right above the couch which is crazy to have in a tree house tiny house and going back to the echo part echo is your smart home so you can say echo turn on lights and it'll turn on all of your lights the host has this set up for nearly everything on this property you can say echo turn on the outdoor outdoor lights you can say echo turn on the jets echo turn on jets the rest of the space you can see the ladder right here in the corner you can unhook that and bring it over and connect that to your loft space once you climb this ladder and the only thing up here in the loft is a bunk bed so if you have kids or just extra people here you all want to experience it they can sleep up here and you get a cool look above uh, in your tree house and there's even ropes right here on the entrance in case anybody's a sleepwalker or just so nobody falls out which is Pretty cool. That is everything inside of this tree house. Let's take a step outside this back door now and see what the rest of the space has to offer, including your bathroom. When you walk out here, the first thing on your left actually is your outdoor bathroom space. This is your toilet and sink. Didn't have any problems with it. And then you can turn around this corner and now you're in your outdoor space again. You have some outdoor seating uh, over here. And one cool thing is this is where your zip line starts. You can see right here, there's a seat and this zip lines to the tower across uh, about 50 feet from your tree house. And this tower is huge and that zip lines across the pond. We'll get to that in a second. And then along the rest of your decking, we can turn around this corner and the flag and then we'll walk down this. And this is where your outdoor shower is. Now this shower is very unique, I think. You walk in 
and it's just what an outdoor shower you think would be. There is hot water here. It is very private and secluded. They provide all the amenities you would need, but there's also a heater out here as well. So you can take a hot shower, you can have the heater on, or if you it's a little bit colder, like in the fall or winter time, you can have this heater blasting you as you have the hot water coming on and you could take an outdoor shower in the snow, I would say. So this is a very cool outdoor shower space. The toilet and the shower are disconnected from each other, but I think this is just an awesome thing to have. So with all of that, this is the Emerald Treehouse. Now, like I said, this is about half of the tour. We can walk down from the treehouse and check out the rest of this property. You'll walk down through the trail and now we're at the bottom of your treehouse. There is a ladder here that can lead up to your treehouse as well if you need to, but under it there's some more seating options here. There is a small pond here as well to enjoy. You can sit out here and now you reach your zipline tower. You can actually climb this tower. There's like four levels here I believe. so four levels of viewing points and this is where you'll meet the host and you can do some zip lining stuff and you can zip line across this pond that leads to your emerald forest and outdoor theater but savannah and i decided to take the long way around which is the path that goes all the way around this third this pond so the path is all lit up with string lights everywhere you don't need flashlights for any of this which is so cool we walked across this there's uh, bridges everywhere and, and you really feel like you are in an enchanted magical forest once you get here and at the very end you reach the emerald forest and outdoor theater space this spot is so magical i don't even know where to begin or how to describe this place because you just have to be here this is a one-of-a-kind outdoor climb-in movie theater the theater is made up of a large seating area 15 foot off the ground there's four box seat open air pods there's three kadama zone which are elevating loungers basically tree levitators there's two stories of hammock like dream nets behind the trees and the projection on the 16 foot screen hanging in the trees. This is all nestled among the hemlocks and the cedars and the Douglas fir trees of the Emerald Forest. And this spot, you could have like 50 people out here watching a movie on this 16 foot projector. These nets are insane how there's two levels of them. They can fit so many people up here in this net space and all the ladders and the details and everything. You just have to be here to experience this. This is a one and a one of a kind in the world. I could go on and on about this property. With all of that, I hope I didn't rush through this or anything and I tried my best to explain it as what I was feeling whenever I was experiencing this. The host did an incredible job. Uh, Treehouse Masters did an incredible job building all of this. I mean, it is just the perfect Airbnb, I think. If you're visiting Washington, you have to come check out this spot.